This is Coogan Cassius for IFL TV. We're at Frederick's Restaurant here in Islington, ahead of uh, Copper Box 2. Uh, Rock the Box 2 at the Copper Box, which we have got from out of Frank Warren. How are you, Frank? I'm good. Yourself? Yeah, I'm very well. Um, interesting comments by Derek Tizor at the end. You might have to have a word with no, him about I'm not this. Wor- I'm not worried about that. I'm just worried about the fight on the night. <laughs> That's um, what we need. Frank, this has been the third opponent now yep. for Derek. What, I mean, has he taken any notice of that? Has that changed anything? No, I mean, you, you look at him, he looks really good and uh, and Don says that he's, uh, his weight's good. So, if he comes in the same weight as he did last time, I'll be really happy from that point of view. You know, it's, it's difficult for fighters when you keep, you know, when you're training for a specific style and, and that guy pulls out and it's happened to him twice, but, you know, we've got a decent fella come in, he's got a decent record, he's, he's strong and he's been, he's been working out like, all the top heavyweights in the world, you know, all those guys he mentioned at the press conference all ranked either number one or two in various divisions. So, um, you know, from Derek's point of view, um, you know, I just want to get him out there, get him, and hopefully he's going to do a good job. This fella will come to fight. Mm. He'll come to fight him. Um, you said some interesting things about you'd like him to fight possibly Tyson Fury next year because I'd love it. Yeah. yeah, I'd love the fight. I think it's, I think the fans would love the fight. It's, you know, this is what it's all about. You know, delivering big fights like that, and I think him and Tyson would be a fabulous match. Mm. You know, for, from Derek's point of view, he's, he's got to correct the the, uh, the, dis, the 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 result that he got last time. Um, they've both come on a bundle since then. You know, Tyson's improved as a fighter, and so is Derek. So I think it, you know, it's going to be, be an even better fight. So um, I hope that we can do it. And see if we can get this on. Mm. You spoke about this in the press conference. The situation regarding David Price. Um, you said that a, a contract has been set uh, sent to him, waiting for a reply for a date in February, possibly. Well, we've given the date, and it's up to him now to return the contract. So we're waiting for that to happen. And I'm sure. Uh, you know, one way or another, we're either going to get it back or not get it back within the next few days. Mm. So what would be the situation if he wasn't to fight David Price? Would he have to vacate his title? He would have to vacate the titles. Hopefully that's not going to be the case. A mm. um, bit of a setback with you with Nathan Cleverley, obviously, withdrawing due to yeah. injury. It was a big yeah. draw on this bill, wasn't he? Yeah, it's a re- oh, yeah, I was absolutely gutted for him. In fact, it's been a bit of a crappy year for him, 2013. So where we are now is that uh, you know, he'll come back here fighting February 2014. And uh, hopefully he'll, he'll get himself back on track to win the uh, title in the cruiserweight. Mm. Um, Frank Bullioni stepping up again, so yeah. uh, a very good prospect, and you must have plans for him next year, Frank. Yeah, I mean, you know, he's uh, he is a good prospect, and he, he you know, but he's still got a long way to go. He still needs a lot of schooling, and uh, this is a step up for him this fight. And hopefully, he'll come through. He's fighting the ten rounder. He comes through this okay, and then we start stepping up again in the new year. Mm. Um, we know obviously Frankie Gavin fights on uh, your co-promotion show with Dennis Hobson yep. at the uh, 21st of December in Leeds. Uh, what plans have you got for him next year, Frank? I would expect Frank to certainly you know, fight for a European title and be knocking on the door if not fighting for a world title. He's more than capable, he's got a tremendous am- amateur background, you know, Britain's only ever um, world amateur champion. Um, you know, he's, he, he, for me, he's, he, he's, he's, such a, he's such a good, on his day, a good boxer. He's got a great boxing brain. And if we can just get him focused, and, uh, and he, or keeping him focused as he's been, then I think next year can be his year. Mm. Excuse me. Excuse me, fella. Um, Billy Joe Saunders obviously uh, was meant to be on the show originally, yeah. wasn't he? And uh, he, he's out with an injury as well. So next year, again, we're waiting to see... Yeah, uh, I mean, you know, he's been very busy. I think... Besides the fact of the injury, he's, he's pretty. He's been quite busy, and he's you know you look at his fights, all been twelve rounders, his recent fights. So we, again, we want to get him back in the swing, and uh, and get him up there next year. He, I mean, he's knocking on the door as well. He should be fighting for a European title, and certainly, you know, get a couple of couple more wins under his belt. He'll be up there, you know, within the next. 12 to 18 months fighting for a world title. How far do you think he's away from the so-called top three or four uh, middleweights in this country? Pro- probably from it in this country. Yes. Um, I'm talking about Ma- Matthew Macklin, uh, Darren Barker, I Martin Murray. I, I think he's just a couple of fights away. No yeah. more than that. No more than that at all. No more than that at all. Um, you know, he's, he's a winning fighter. Maximum another couple of fights under his belt and, I'll, and I'd match him with him in a heartbeat. Mm. Interesting. Um, Bradley Skeet um, facing Colin Lyons, who's you know British champion twice. Um, sort of revived his career when he beat Lee Purdy. 
uh, a shock in many people's eyes, but this is a good, good test for Bradley. It's a good fight. I mean, again, it's a good fight for the fans, and uh, you know, it's a tough fight. And I'm looking forward to it. But you know, Bradley's a nice boxer on his day. It's a funny thing, you, you know, he's been the fights he's won. Obviously, he's won mostly, mostly by going the distance. As, as you know, cause he is a decent boxer. But he, I remember that. I can't remember what it was, but he pulled a punch out of the bag. Uh, was it last year? And he knocked a guy. I mean, cold. So if he can get himself, you know, get get that power behind it, he could be, you know, a, a real decent contender for, you know, for winning one of these big titles. Mm. You've got a show coming up in Liverpool on the 7th of December. Um, like so Derry Matthews on the bill and um, Liam Smith, Ronnie Heffron and Selka. It's a cracking fight, so that's a good bill in Liverpool. Look forward to it. I, I am looking forward to it. It is a good bill. There's some good, 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 even money. You know, you know uh, the Selkirk Heffron fight's a, a great fight for the fans. Um, Derry Matthews is a good fight. I mean, they're, they're all good fights on, on that card, and I'm, looking, and I'm looking forward to Paul Butler. You know, so we've got all our good youngsters from up there who are, who are fighting on the night. So, um, you know, we've got a good run over the next three weeks. Any plans you could tell us about for next year? Any big domestic fights we all want, Frank? We're working on a couple of things. I think we're going to be uh, announcing them first week of January. We've got a couple of things that we're working on, which I think everybody's going to like. When's your first show back after New Year? Uh, we'll be doing something at the end of January. And then we got a couple of shows in February and a couple in March, so you know we're quite busy. Okay. Um, just finally, can I ask your opinion on the weekend's controversy uh, involving Fosh and Grove? Read all about it in the Sun. Well, okay. what do I think of it? I think you know. I think you've got to always, you know, re it's very easy for people to say, you know, that, that's wrong and that's right, and you've got you, and from a referee's perspective, it's always you know err on the side of. Caution, but I, I personally don't think the fight should have been stopped. Mm. And uh, so it's a bit harsh on George Grove, sir. I think it's harsh on George Grove. I think it's harsh on uh, Frock as well because you know he's not come out of the fight. I mean, he was getting for me, he was well behind, well behind. Mm. And I don't, you know, and I don't get the. Um, yeah, it is what it is. I've, I've done my stuff for the sun, so you can read right. it. Okay. All right, Frank. Thank you very much for talking to IFL TV, and uh, we'll you. see you at the weigh in tomorrow. I'll see you when I'm looking at you. Thank you.